That's why it's okay to trade additional trades and each one is a different option based on the entry price, based on the expiration date. So I set up a couple others here. We can go back and take a peek. The one that looks like a loser, but when you apply the 5% arc to trading, you always look to make tiny adjustments around obvious, around obvious chart levels. And that's an obvious chart level to me. This is what we do in the trade room. If you'd like practice in learning these things, you should attend the trade room. But look at this trade. This trade triggers in, and that one has a perfect target too before stopping out. You have this earlier trade here, much bigger trade. That one also accurate, hitting target one before coming down and stopping out. And then this primary trade, and I went ahead and did the math on some of these trades for you just to show you. This is when the sell-off occurred because of COVID. So looking at this one here, this is a primary trade that these other little trades happened inside of. It ended up stopping out with its trailer here, but it did get to target one, which made over $21 a share, and that was an 81% return on the option. That would have been... A, uh, well, that was a May, a May 263 call option. The entry is 263.80, slightly in the money is 263. You could have went with a 262, paid a little more, but it made 81% returns before stopping out. And then the trailer also made money, stopping out way up here, made about that much. And then when you look at the call, the put options, when the fall off happened, remember action, reaction, subsequent action, something I always talk about and teach with all that I do. The green trade is really good at catching uh, action moves. So you have this action move down. Maybe the white trade would have captured that. We could turn that trade on and see. But even if it didn't, action, reaction into our line and the subsequent action move, which tends to mirror the first action. In this case, it was even more. You can see, but a perfect put slightly in the money and look at the target too, how it got hit perfectly. Look at the size of that trade. That's a 202% return on the cost of that put. This is 134% return on the cost of that put. And then it stops out right here. And that was another chunk of change. Very profitable. And just going back further before COVID, You could just see, finally a losing trade. This one is a loser, loses about 35% of the value of the option. I mean, you don't lose the whole option. You lose only a third of the option. That's what I mean by selling it back. It ended up capturing two thirds of its value when it stopped out. What a beautiful way to trade. This one here, you could see the February 323 calls, 23%, 29%, 49%. This one made 33%, 80% before stopping out. You can do a looser stop perhaps, but going back, there's a lot of winners. This one's all the way back to December, a December 298 call. October 2019, this trade happened, but look at the 55% perfect target. Remember, when this is hitting here and then coming off right at a perfect target one, you don't know what's gonna happen next. Look at target two. Even target three ends up getting hit. It almost gets hit here, but it already stopped out. But you don't have to get all your targets. You got your stop to take you out and position, uh, take you out and protect yourself. It's a real simple way to go. Now, you may decide to go with a vertical spread. It's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but a vertical spread is just a way to lower your cost basis. You also lower your profit potential, but you can get into um, a thousand dollar option for a lot less money, maybe only a few hundred bucks or whatever. So I'm going to leave it to you to learn about vertical spreads, but I just wanted to create this one video to show you the best way to use a strategy. In my opinion, simple directional trades with simple in the money calls and puts with enough time, scaling out at each of the targets. If you can, if you can only afford one, then only just go to one target. Go to target one, build up your account. You shouldn't risk more than 2% of your account, but remember, a $1,000 option, you're not gonna lose $1,000. Worst case scenario is you maybe you lose a, a half of it, maybe. 
You can see there are hardly any losing trades at all. They do exist. All right, so I'm going to leave it up to you to explore. But what you want to do is build a list of stock charts. And you always want to go with charts where there's millions of shares in volume because then you're going to not pay expensive spreads and you'll get fills that are more appropriate and, and just better for you with your options trading. Better fills, less trade costs. So always trade the highly liquid stocks. Count, do your fast testing, 100 trades per symbol, and build your roster of tradable charts slowly. And then you just trade the same chart over and over and over. You're going to get really good at it because you're going to get used to the chart. You don't have to scan. You don't have to hunt. You don't want to just shoot from the hip. That's a more advanced style of trading. Most traders fail at it. You're better off building a roster of symbols that you already know will win and that you can succeed at so that you can believe in it. That's part of proving it to yourself. Very important aspect to successful trading and it's easy to do treat it like a business take your time build your stock list little by little and you could be as active as you want to be i would say focus on just the green trades but at some point turn on the white trades understand how they work what their strengths and weaknesses are same with the purple trades you could also trade a 195 minute chart i just wanted to put that up here really quick and show you and talk to you a little bit about this unique chart especially with TradeStation. Um, this is interesting because of the way it divides the time and it'll give you a lot more frequency. Let's just, I'm just gonna put five years. All right, so I've got a 195 minute chart. And why did I select that number? Well, if you, des if you divide the daily bar by two, you get 195 minutes. In other words, there are 390 minutes in a typical session a stock market session from open to close that's when options are trading for 390 minutes per session if you divide that in half it's a 195 minute chart so theoretically you would get two bars per session and that should increase your activity by double right you should get twice as many trades since it's twice as many bars however the way TradeStation does this is very interesting in that it uses natural hours instead of session hours, and I'm not going to explain the technicals behind it, but it ends up being a three-bar session where the first bar is only 15 minutes, and the second bar is 195 minutes, and the third bar is 180 minutes, right? 195 minus 15. So you get three bars, and they're all different lengths. But what's great about that is that if you're trying to place trades early in the session, then you could be thinking about the first 15 minutes and you know that a bar is going to close and a new bar is going to open and it actually generates some pretty good trade signals too. It's really interesting. It's an interesting chart. You can fast test it and you can come up with uh, another slew of uh, charts and symbols to add to your roster. So if a ch symbol doesn't work on a daily chart, Try the 195 minute chart, and if you want to get even more bars, try a 130 minute chart. Those would be faster trades. I think if you stick with 195 and with daily charts, that'll be just right because backpack trader style is to spend less time in front of your charts, and this is a way to do it where you literally can trade for 10 to 15 minutes a day. Maybe you spend 5, 10, 15 minutes a day perusing your charts at the end of the day just to set up for what you're going to do the next morning. It is a great way to trade. All right, so you don't have to learn anything new. It's the same approach. Count your winners, count your losers, establish charts that win a lot. And like this, you'll build a roster of active trading symbols and charts uh, where you can just make a really good living with swing trading with the counterpunch trader it's or the counterpunch express as in this case or with any of my strategies this is how you would do it uh, swing trading stocks and options all right so i hope this was a helpful video for you i hope you enjoyed it it was a lot of fun to record for you i just want to encourage you to join me in the trading room it's got tremendous value and although we focus on day trading. I'm more than happy to answer any questions about any of my strategies at any time, even swing trading. We could pull up some charts. We could explore them together. We could look at possible option scenarios. 
The trade room is there for you to learn the strategy. It's the best place to ask questions. Finally, don't forget, keep your notebook handy, write questions down as you think of them, and then bring them to me in the trade room and I'll make sure they get answered thoroughly. Like this, I could show you things while I explain stuff to you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one. This is TJ with the Backpack Trader and the Counterpunch Express 2.